Hello and welcome back to my let's play on Total War Warhammer 2 with the last defenders or Krokgar. Well, last time I thought we had taken Teotihuacan, um, and now we're preparing to take the Temple Avenue of Gold, which I'm sure uh, is obviously owned by Clan Mortkin right here. So we've taken this town, and it, it does have the spawn pools of the lower castes, which I think I may have mentioned I was thinking about getting rid of. But I didn't realize how cheap these units are. They might be trash, but they are really cheap. 90 for these guys, and then of course we already have a couple of these, and they're 120 each. Currently, I'm thinking I will just recruit a couple of these, probably just two of these, and then one of this guy, just because I hate having three of a, a, an infantry, melee infantry units, range not too bad. Um... And then we'll just we'll just have those, and then we'll probably get rid of the building after all anyway. But just to have a couple of these shitty trash units, just as a bit of a um, throwaway. Plus, they don't really cost me much, so I'm not too bothered about the money. We're, in fact, literally going to exactly be minus one if this money were to stay exactly the same, which it probably won't do. Um, in fact, we're already building up this, so yeah, we're not going to... We should be positive still. Um, besides that, we have some level ups. We should have a look at. So we're gonna get some good old proud warrior. I was thinking about um, going full on like these things, right? Stegodon, Bastildon, Feral Carnosaur, etc., etc. The thing is, though, I didn't really pay attention to this, but yeah, we actually get minus upkeep for Saurus and Cold One units as well. So, and plus, it's kind of—I mean, as fun as it sounds, it's a bit unrealistic to go 100%. Uh, for only large units, so we can't, we can't really do that. We need some infantry as well. They don't necessarily have to go for the ranged units, so that's fine. But we need some infantry. Melee. And cavalry from this as well, so it's probably still going to be a very heavy army in, 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 or in uh, the stronger, like Stegodon, Bastilodon, etc. units, but I, I can get some infantry as well. So, point is, there is definitely a point to just going into Proud Warrior just to make our Saurus units better. Then we probably want to go for this as well. Weapon strength, speed, and missile damage. I don't care if the missile damage too much, but yeah, the speed and weapon strength for the cold one units, and then we'll just go for these things as well. I'm not sure if we're to go for everything, probably focus on certain things, but we'll see. Either way, let's go for Proud Warrior for now. Um, we do need to go for this Untainted at some point, not necessarily with this, but just in general, because that's not something I really thought about, but we're facing Skaven, which means that we actually have stuff, like, we, yeah, this is going down to 71.4%. And our capital is going up to 100%. Okay, that's good. But yeah, this is going down pretty rapidly. Once we take this out, I'm sure it'll go up, but even so. Anyway, you got to level up as well. So, we have the option between Roiling Skies... Or just upgrading this, but Roiling Skies. Uh, so, map-wide, target if flying. So, only against flying targets, they get minus speed and melee defense. Yeah. Wind Blast. I always like Wind Blast abilities. Tear-shaped... Attack that expands. Yeah, I always like those types of abilities because they're usually quite useful. Curse of the Midnight Winds is just a straight up debuff. Uh, not terrible, but not amazing. And Uranon's Thunderbolt, which a, is a bombardment. Okay, that's that's probably all right too. But I'm gonna go for the Wind Blast one. I, I've I've already got my eye on that, and now I don't want to do anything else. So it's Wind Blast it is. Uh, tough. Right. So that is that. We now... Think me, fool, fool. You can actually... Oh, you can't. Yeah, I do think you fool fool. <laughs> Let's have a look at the diplomacy. I don't know if we've done anything last time here. But may as well have a cheeky oh, peek. These dwarves don't like me too much, which is a bit scary. Actually, they like me an okay amount, but they won't do in the future. We have non-aggression with them now. Uh, but yeah, I'm scared a little bit of, that, of those people because they can just jump across and just attack me. Welcome to the whole you guys want loads of stuff, but we don't want loads of stuff of you, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, I think that's not much else we can do. Missions we have currently still got the cape, getting a full province, making the holy ziggurat, researching a tech, which can happen in three turns, uh, capture the golden tower. That's not going to happen for a little while, probably, and trade pact with the bowman of Orion. Orion. This finished both quests, but yeah. Um, yeah, that sounds uh, sounds pretty good, doesn't it, guys? Let's just end the turn. Oh, I forgot to recruit those units. No, I didn't. Thank God. <laughs> I thought I forgot to recruit those units after all. After all that speech, that entire speech, but no, I didn't. I, I, I made them. 
Ooh. Ooh, where are you going? You're just gonna sit there. Okay, I bet if I were to... Oh, they're raiding. I bet if I were to attack them, they probably would... Oh, what's this? Goraz Deathmaker. Oh, shit, they're still here. I completely forgot about them. So their army is uh, is just over here somewhere. They're probably spreading shit as well, aren't they? Peace. Well, no. Not unless you make it a better offer. Yeah, it's not going to be good. What can we get? Non-aggression. See... Are you going to pay me still? Maybe. I don't know. I feel like if I go to peace, I could just kill them. I know their army is particularly strong. They could walk past me and I just attack them. They could stay hidden, which would make my time with these guys a little more annoying, but let's see what they do. There they are. Oh, I thought they were going to fight each other for a second there. They're going to sit next to that town. Okay, well, I don't know. If they're not allied, they won't join in the fight together, will they? See, so yeah, we're losing money because of raiding, but we did make a little bit of extra money from the town being done. Amber should have discovered. Wish he was a little closer still, but oh well. We have a very small amount of money, enough to build something. I do want to get the walls, but I think I am currently very interested in just getting the money-making buildings. It's probably not the right call. There probably are more important things to build, but money is currently pretty damn tight. So I think I want to go for that. I'm actually tempted to... Get rid of this building as well. I could recruit a couple more of those units. Again, they are really cheap. I also still want to get at least one more of these guys, because this currently just looks disgusting, isn't it? Having one of something. These guys are okay, because they can just be on the flanks, but... One of something. Ugh. Disgusting! Um, that's also 160 of these guys, although their leadership's pretty crap. Surprised about how high the leadership is in this, in this faction, actually. Um... So do I want to get a couple more? I could just do the same thing. I can't actually afford that right now. Or I just get rid of the building altogether. I, I think getting an extra three of them isn't bad. I can't really afford them actually though, to be fair. No, let's get rid of the building. We're going to leave it at this. Two of these dudes and three of those. That's fine. We're going to get rid of this building and make a money making building instead. Go away. Go away. Croxagors are really good though. That's the that we have right now. I do quite like them. Um, but it's not really worth going... Like I, I can always get this building elsewhere anyway. Yeah, let's not, let's not worry about it right now. Right. So we're going to go and attack this person and see what he does, I suppose. He's going to run away is what he's going to do. No real surprise there. Is he in range of the town? It looks like he might just about be. If he isn't, that would be absolutely fantastic, wouldn't it? Um, they're not allied though, we should need to make sure that's not a fa thing. No, they're just a war of me. So they shouldn't join, so I could just attack him instead, and that should be an easy kill. But let's do this. There's no arrow, so I'm guessing they're not in range. Oh, they are in range. What the hell is all this? The menace below. Spawning units of clan rats. Oh shit. Okay, army ability. That's interesting. Okay. Anyway, um, so we got Vomik, we've got Shrik, so we got two generals. We got uh, a couple of clan rats, a couple more clan rats, some Skaven slaves, which are great. I'd love to have more of those in the enemy army. There's a couple though. Some Night Runners, which are the most scary ones. Some sl Skaven slave slingers, some more Night Runners, and clan rat spears. So we gotta make sure we don't go into them. And then I noticed this guy Rat Ogres, Monsters Infantry. How good are you compared to my dude? I can't like click on them and have their stats, so I have to actually look at them and then have a look at these guys. These guys have a bonus for infantry, for it, and the other guys do not. They seem pretty similar. Armor is way lower on these guys. Health is about the same, but lower on these guys as well, actually. Charge bonus 46, 22, there you go, and their charge is way higher. They have Frenzy as well. Alright, well... Uh, it seems to be fairly decently in my favor, but I'm still going to fight this, obviously. Didn't think they were in range. There's no arrow. I don't know why there's no arrow. They need to add that. I mean, it used to be in the previous game, so why did, did, did they take it out or something? What? Uh, there's a, actually, we've got a, 
small problem here in the fact that we um we we have to kill these armies and survive with enough men to deal with the beastmen as well, as well as the survivors of this fight. So Ooh, this could be pretty rough. There actually is some definite reason to keep these guys, these weak ones, alive as long as possible because they are actually having the speediest units we've got. 46. I think we may have yeah, 46 and 50 on them. This thing is way fast. And 46 on these guys. So there's actually a legitimate reason to try and keep these guys alive as long as possible because they might be able to catch the uh, Skaven. This guy's 46. So I guess this is just like this entire tree. These units, like this is also in the same tree so it's a similar type unit I guess. Anyway, we do have a lovely old forest. They have a lot more range units than we do, so I'm probably going to use it. So let's uh, get the show on the road, shall we? So I want this as a line. Also, I'm definitely going to gamble for something higher. Seven is a bit shit in it. Go on. Nice. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one, just as we got that ability as well. Right, range units back here. Oh, God. And we got you two. Let's have a look at you, actually. I haven't seen you yet now, so. These are already skink cohort. Compared to their skink cohort javelins units. Yeah, it's the same unit, except it's got javs. Pretty interesting. Alright, let's start deployment so we can get rid of that. Um, okay. And generals. Or general and agent, I should say. So yeah, these guys are going to be reinforcements, essentially, and just... Flanking around, I really put should put them on the flanks. All right, and I shouldn't have you both together, to be honest. The main force, the one, the, the earliest force, is the one that has those sixteen guys in it. So we need to make sure we keep the spears to deal with them. She's possibly even putting both spears on the left side because we are going to be facing that way in a minute, I reckon. Kind of depends on what they do, if they're going to wait or come towards me. I mean, we are attacking them, so I'd imagine they wouldn't. But I wonder if it'd be worth rushing them actually. Getting into this forest, attacking those guys as fast as humanly possible. Hmm, I should have thought about this before, but yeah, let's go for it. I don't know where they are. Probably around there somewhere. I think we can get there in time. You guys, just get over here for the moment. Alright. Army spawned an enemy unit. Okay, up here. So yeah, that's that's basically where we're going. Oh, I can fucking hear it. Or something. Don't know if this is the right call, but if we can get them sort of... Because they've got a huge range advantage, so if we can... Well, not huge, but they've got a decent range advantage. So if we can get in there and just get stuck in melee, we're going to win, no problem. I'm not worried about that. We just got to get in here and start dealing damage. There's a good chance they would have just gathered up and start coming towards me. In fact, it looks like these night runners are already doing exactly that. I still want to move on into this forest, though. A little bit more like that. Another. Oh my god, they're just spawning unit after unit over there. This is ridiculous. I'm actually tempted to send you after them because you're faster than most other units I've got. Oh, here we go. What are you? You're my range units, right? Hang back. What's this? Night Runners. Okay, these are range units. They're gonna try and run away as well, I imagine. Okay, you go after them. You come this way to deal with those guys, if you can. And in fact... Mm, nah, it's not worth it. Okay, we can we can definitely catch those a little bit. We may take a lot of damage doing so, but I suppose it's better than for them to take damage than anyone else. Oh, I guess you're not in range, fuck. Well That was a bit shit in the end, but it's okay. Yeah, this unit's taking a lot of damage. I don't like this too much. Right. Do I just chase them is the problem here. Like, I, if I keep, if I just chase them, they're gonna get away from me constantly. So I think we just have to kind of take the damage and hope their infantry gets to us soon. Maybe we run towards their infantry. We just want to get engaged. Get it? Get engaged. <laughs> and then, and then we just 
kind of go from there. Like, once we're in melee, we, we're fine, because so we're not going to be taking too much damage anymore. But until we get into melee, we're just going to be running away from them the entire time. Or running, I don't know, chasing them or anything, really. See, that unit's also going to do the same thing. He's, okay, well, I can't control him anymore, so good luck to him. We're just kind of sitting here, taking all these fucking... They're not moving, they're just... Oh my word, this is actually really bad. Okay, let's do this. Line, go over here. It'll, they'll run away from them, but that's fine. Alright, range units. Come over here. And you guys as well. I could use these to start chasing them, but we probably just lose the fight. Okay, I don't want to have you chase them the entire damn time either, so that's not going to happen. They're not proper flanking me now. Okay, let's have you chase them down. Well, we lost him. Not exactly what I had in mind. Okay, we're... Nope, these are still my runners. My god, where are they fucking... They're just gonna go all the way up here. At least we can't really get flanked by them. My god, this is the weirdest fucking tactic I've ever seen. It's very good AI though, let's be honest. They're using their skirmish units and they they know they're faster than me, so what are they gonna do? Oh yeah, you were chasing them. Well, you're never gonna catch them either, are you? Alright, here we go. Oh crap, now we got the stupid... These guys up front, we didn't want that. Okay, well let's get stuck in at least with our infantry. Yeah, still go around this way. Yeah, all right. So this is this is good at least. Um, yeah, I want you to get around here. You can probably do something very nice, nice here. That's pretty good, I think. Okay, this is kind of problematic, but now we have these range units that can deal with these guys. You guys get in there. Actually, no, you keep chasing them. You as well. We're being attacked from the back as well. You are gonna go over here and get in there. Some of our units are already raging. Great. Not really, but I'll take it. Alright, you broke that. Let's get in here. Let's get towards our general. It's gonna be difficult to get to him, but. Need to get in here. Attack whatever. Oh my word, there we go. Oh shit, is this the. Yes, the rat ogres. Right. That's why we're losing this unit so quickly. Alright, get in there. It smells failure, apparently. It's pretty good, I think. Get some buffs going. Okay, we seem to be doing alright now. You just get him. You just guys, just keep chasing him off, I suppose. I mean, we gotta use someone to chase him off. How are you doing? Hey, you come back. Oh, you're fighting them. Good. I guess they may they, maybe they ran out of ammo as well. Yeah, we can use this again in a minute, I think. It costs eight. We have exactly eight. Perfect. We have routed them. Oh, wow. We routed a lot of them. The problem is... Okay, kill them. The problem is we need to kill them. We can't just route them. This, this, they're going to have everything survive if we just... If they don't die a little more than that, what they have so far. Right, this is what we needed these units. That's the whole point of bringing or having them here. So they can catch these guys. I don't, I don't think they're fast enough to actually catch anyone. Like I think that I think the speed difference is not large enough. Before you have to move. Oh god. That's my unit. So let's not do that. Oh, I wish they came back, but they're not going to. Might be able to get a little bit of damage off there. Oh, look at all this fucking shit. All right. He's routed again, or raging again. Okay, there goes our general, so that should probably route these dudes as well. There you go. Alright, so we just won. There we go, but... Was it good enough? Or are they just gonna all survive? It is my turn, so killing the generals will actually be a good thing. How are you doing? I just selected the wrong unit actually to do that. Not that it really matters, but... 
Yeah, we're not going to have killed much here, unfortunately. They're going to have a lot of stuff that survives. I mean, to be fair, we do as well. The weakest unit we have is 48, and that's really not that bad, because these guys are a max of 100 normally. I think so. so yeah, more than half still strength still on, on every unit. I thought there may have been a unit that was more dead than it really is, but... Killing this guy would really be worth it, but I don't think we're actually going to be able to pull it off. You are really fast, so try and get over here. I don't know why I just stopped. Are you guys walking? You're just exhausted. You're very tired, not exhausted. Alright. If I can get this get ahead of this guy, he might run him the other way. But it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. No, I'm not gonna be able to get there in time. I make him go further and further that way, but I can't get beyond him. No. Well. Vanguardian. Achievement. whoop de doo Right, what did we kill? We lost 210, so that's good. We only killed 322 of... Wow. The thing is, this army... How does that work in this game? I don't remember. We killed it twice in a row, so I think it's dead. Or is that not the case in this game? I don't remember. Um, And these ones have got a lot of stuff remaining. But if this one is dead entirely, then we just got to worry about, like, yeah, 600 men there and... 400 men here, so a thousand men against our 1500, 1600. No, actually, we lost 1300, 1400. So that should be fine. Hopefully, this one is dead. I just, I've been playing so many different Total War games recently that everything is just a blur to me right now. Like, I don't know which mechanics goes goes with which game. I think it's a replenishment as well, of course. So they are indeed dead. Yeah, so we don't have to worry about them anymore. Let's move them over a little bit. Skaven revealed. Yep, we, they were in there. Right, now the question is, do I attack this force first before I attack the town? I don't even know if I can. First of all, we gotta level up. More proud warrior, please. Because if I if I do that, they'll probably run away anyway. They can't actually reach Tiqua uh, in a single turn anyway. Although if I take the town, they'll, move, they'll be moved a little further this way, and then they might just about reach it. Probably not. So let's go take the town. Oh wow, okay, never mind. Let's auto resolve that. Hopefully they don't lose this unit, for example. Nice. Didn't lose anyone. Good, good. And I will happily occupy this place. It seems see they got pushed to rush my town a little bit, but I don't think it's close enough. We got a full province. And now we have to issue a commandment. Alright. And we kill in battle, province secured, faction destroyed. Oh, nice, faction destroyed. That's really good, actually. What was the last thing that picked up? Was it a clan encountered? I don't know. Anyway, you guys, not quite in range. That should be okay. Because I can't attack them either right now, obviously. Got another level up, well, this time for him. Right, so I wonder if I should upgrade Windblast. I do like the ability a lot. So I, if I upgrade it, it costs two more. Or three more? Yeah, it costs eight before. So three more. 50% chance for a miscast and increases armor piercing damage. And then the next level up um, reduces the miscast chance and brings it down to 9. And it still does the same armor piercing. Alright, yeah, that seems pretty good. I could also go for Uranon's Thunderbolt. Uranon? Don't know. Um, good against artillery pieces. Wow, never saw that coming. Small strike area. Strong versus multiple opponents. Yeah, that's what I would imagine. Um, I think I'm going to max this out. This is pretty good as well, though, to be fair. But if I upgrade it, I have a 50% chance for a miscast, I think. Or was that this level? Yeah, never mind. Yeah, just getting it gives us the... Okay, right. So, um, it only had that, uh, adds additional armor, though. It's not AoE. I thought it was going to be an AoE, but it wasn't. So, Wind Blast, upgrade that. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's just let's not, let's not think about this for too long. Right, and over here we've got uh, some a gold mining pit. Pretty good. Right. Now while we're here, actually, let's let's hold off on doing that and recruit this final three units. Because I can do it now, and I may as well. And then we can yeah we can actually afford them, and I'll get rid of this next turn. Now the question is, do I go and attack these people? Looks like this is a good time to do it, and this is a resource, uh, a ritual resource site as well. This is owned by the Fortress of Dawn. And so is this. Okay, so they actually own two towns of a different of two different places. It's a bit unfortunate. 
So we'll look at all this shit. We gained some stuff. A gleaming pendant. Uh, Alright, that's that one. Plus four leadership. Is a uh, assigned unit thing. Cash the replenishment rate 5%. Pretty damn good. Anchor. Wow, okay. Yeah, hell yeah. And that's... <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. That's pretty good though. 10% replenishment rate. Extra. That's insane, in fact. That's not just good. And we got more leadership when fighting Skaven. Not too shabby. You become a real Skaven killer at this point. There's actually a legitimate reason to make a... Well, not right now, because we can't really afford it currently, but once we've got those extra money-making buildings up, legitimate reason to make a second army, which just consists of these Skink Cohort dudes. Maybe a couple of these Saurus Warriors, although we, we have 50% upkeep reduction, so we actually pay like 300 for these guys in a normal army. Ugh, that's that's disgusting. They're not that good. I mean, they're good, but not 300 upkeep worth good. Um, but yeah, we could just make a full army of skink cohort and skink cohort with jabs, and that actually wouldn't even be that bad. Upgrading this would get you skink skirmishers. Now, what is the difference? They reduce range. Oh, right, okay, so they, they just become a full committed unit, so they reduce range somehow for whatever reason. They actually have lower missile damage as well, but they have 26 missiles rather than. Uh, free. And also their unit gets reduced by 40 men, so that's kind of rough. So overall it becomes a worse unit, but except for the fact that it has more ammunition. Um, which is kind of interesting. Either way, not too bothered about them. I think the Jazz in this game, it might be worth having a couple in an army just to apply the poison thing to different units, but I'm not really not worried about it. Commandments. We have a geomatic, geomantic web strength of 2. Right, so we can get weapon strength, unit experience, recruitment costs, and leadership, all local. Alignment of order, army ability number of users plus two for Holy Stella, Stila, uh, which is a hex uh, minus missile damage and accuracy. Okay, interesting. I, I would have liked if I had if I had an army ability use which was that summon a freaking unit. That's pretty damn good. Um, untainted plus two here though. That's not bad. Winds of magic, power reserve, and research rate, or income from all buildings, growth, and public order. That is pretty damn good. It's only plus two public order, but I'll still go for that. It's not bad at all. Right. Diplomacy. Let's have a cheeky peek. Let's see if anything's changed. Not enough for them to do anything. You guys, no. You like me, but not that much. Clan Mulder. Oh, that was orange just now, and it just went to red. Fucking red! I hate you! you have been granted access oh man, they want a defensive alliance real bad. They are probably willing to pay me handsomely for it. Oh, maybe not handsomely. If they were, I would probably take it, but... Not for, like, what, 700 or something I can get from them. Holy shit, this place hates me. Okay, well, let's hope these guys just kinda sit here and don't become annoying. That would be pretty annoying if they became annoying, wouldn't it? Name three thing. Name one thing you would not want the enemy to become. Hmm. Annoying. You got it. Oh, he wants peace again. He really wants peace. He doesn't want to pay me for it this time. Oh, a non-aggression pack too. Ooh, this... Now it's a little better. I still want to kill them because they... are making this town unhappy. They, they're doing the tainted thing. I could probably get 500 from them. I mean, non-aggression is good because then, yeah, you know, we're not going to be fighting them. But they are going to be coming after me at some point, and uh, I know they will. So, I'm just like, it's just going to be really annoying to deal with them then. Because they'll just come after me at some point when I'm not prepared. You are not prepared, is what they'll say to me as they attack me. It's really inconvenient, really. Um, oh God, I don't know. I don't really want peace, but I don't want them to be super annoying either, and I'm afraid that they're going to be super annoying. So... No, let's not do it. Let's see what they do. Please just don't don't hide. Ugh, they hit. Fuck you. Cunts. If I run into them, will they ambush me? I'll totally take being ambushed. They probably choose not to. There's our commandment issued. Search any ruined settlement for treasure. I've been trying to do that, but every single settlement is owned by some damn clan rats. We got another level up. My god. Will it ever end? Find out next time on this game Z. 
Alright, we're almost fully replenished. That's pretty good. We are well and truly ready for battle. We are still making money. Not not a lot, but you know, it's money. Um, I think I'm going to try and walk into our ambush and just see what happens. Uh, it's still going down, actually, the tainted stuff, which is why I want to kill them. Okay, let's yeah, let's just go in here. There we go, they ambush me. The army spotted an ambush force waiting to ambush, and deterred by their discovery, the enemy's moving to intercept. You are defend. Okay, we're defending. Opportunity to intercept. Yeah, I definitely want to do that. I think I'm just gonna auto resolve it though. Unless you, unless you want me to find it. Do you want me to find it? You probably do, don't you? Well, fine then. Well, f actually, it's been it's been half an hour. So. Uh, let's um sure let's fight it we'll do it next time so for now thank you guys very much for watching words next time we're gonna fight a battle which really shouldn't be fought because it's very easy until then have a good day and goodbye